hey guys welcome back to the channel it is kelly Nichelle. today i'll be doing a look but while doing a look uh there's a little conversation that i want us to have five things that we all can agree that we should stop doing now let's get into this look there are a lot of things that could be added to this list but i just decided to keep this list at a minimum of five and that primer is the makeup revolution um primer i really do like it the first thing I'm going to say that we all should stop doing will be somewhat kind of controversial, but I believe that we all should stop doing this. And that is touching pregnant woman belly. Like, I don't know what the fascination is with touching a woman's belly when she is pregnant, but we should stop doing that. And the reason for this is quite simple. If that woman ask yourself the question ask yourself this question for me before you get all uh and click off would you be touching that woman's belly if she was not pregnant would you honestly would you be touching a woman's belly if she wasn't pregnant and my other thing is do you realize that you touching this woman's belly can make that woman feel uncomfortable like you wouldn't be touching her or if she wasn't pregnant so why do you feel the need to touch her when she's pregnant when she's carrying a life you know what i'm saying some of you might be saying give it up it's not that serious but the truth of the matter is this it can be uncomfortable it can be uncomfortable if somebody even just touched me that i'm not you know touch me certain type of way it's uncomfortable to me so now can you imagine carrying another life you're already self-conscious and having people touch on you like have you ever thought about that you know make it make sense well that's how you make it make sense you already in yourself is uncomfortable when somebody touch you so can you imagine having somebody touch on your belly and for my eye look i'm using the mirage palette and i'm using the color papaya which is, and I'm using the color papaya, which is this color right here. Another reason why you should not be touching a woman's belly is you're inadvertently putting her in a awkward position. Maybe she don't want to be touched, but because you already ask her if, can I touch your belly? She don't want to feel bad by saying, no, you can't touch my belly. So she's going to allow you to touch her belly. But in truth and in fact, she really didn't want to do it in the first place. And ladies, if you've ever experienced this, because, you know, if you've ever experienced this for those of some of my ladies that's been pregnant, if you've, you've ever experienced this, back me up on this one or tell me if I'm, I'm reaching because hey maybe i am but that's just what i am thinking and in truth and in fact you might think you are close to the person the woman that's pregnant but in truth and in fact you may not be that close to her to touch her belly so in your mind you think you know what we're close so i can do it but in truth and in fact maybe you're not in her eyes you're not close to her so you touching her belly is a big deal she might feel some type of way about it and i mean so just let's just stop another reason could be religious reasons for me i know i'm a firm believer in the transfer of spirits i believe and this might be a little deep for some if it is well i'm sorry well actually i'm not you know but i believe that when you touch somebody you transfer spirits to them you know what i mean now i don't know what kind of spirit you have going around with you 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 touching somebody's belly you know what i mean passing that on that spirit to the child so for religious reasons you don't know so stop but we can all agree that we're gonna stop touching pregnant woman's belly guys so what i did so far with the eyes i put down papaya up here and then i went in back with my concealer to just clean it up because i don't want too much of a too much um too much i just want a pop of color just right up there and then i'm gonna go in back with this my concealer and just lay down back a base my eye pin it in just like that so just a little pop of color up top nothing dramatic or drastic and then i'm taking my face powder 
And I'm just gonna sweep this all over the lid just to set that concealer. Let's move on to the next thing that I think we all should can agree that we should all stop doing. And that is trying to turn acquaintances into friends. Me saying this is because I myself find myself falling into that trap sometimes. You know, you try to turn acquaintances into friends and we should stop doing that not everybody has to be a friend and we should all realize that it's quite fine to have people remain as acquaintances what's wrong with Why that does everybody have to fall under the title of friend not everybody's a friend not everybody's meant to be a friend some people's just meant to be an acquaintance and what is wrong with that there's nothing wrong with being an acquaintance. And because of this, because we try so hard to turn everybody into a friend, why a lot of friendships don't last. You have these five minute friendship that don't last. You know why? Because we tried our hardest to turn acquaintances into friends. Now, this is not me saying that you can't have a acquaintance that became a friend because that would be a lie you know what I mean that would be a bold-faced lie but what I am saying to us is that stop trying to turn everybody into a friend some people they're better off as acquaintances and that's the God honest truth we're always trying to turn somebody into a friend when they should remain an acquaintance and when our friendships, they fail, we try to, oh my God, I don't know what happened. I don't, uh, we were such good friends. Um, I really don't know what happened, what happened, why we fall out or whatever. Girl, stop lying to yourself because you're not lying to nobody but yourself. You know well that that person was never a friend in the first place. That person was just an acquaintance who you try to force friendship on. Like, why can't we just be okay with be? people being friends why can't we just be okay in meeting people where they're at instead of trying to you know change them or turn them into something they're not and as i said this is not me saying that acquaintances can't turn friends because i have acquaintances that are my friends that's they're my that turned friends that are my bona fide bona fide friends that if i ever find myself in a position I'm like, yo, X, Y, Z, that person is there quicker than anything else. You know what I mean? So that's not me saying that acquaintances can't become friends, but stop trying to turn every acquaintance into a friend. That's what I'm saying. The next thing I think we can all agree to stop assuming is that everybody that lives with their parent is a freeloader or they don't have any responsibility. I see this a lot and I don't understand why. And we chastise people for living home with their parents where I personally think it's one of the smartest things to do because one, it allows whomever that's still living home um, give themselves time to get their finances in hand you know what i mean get their finances so going out into the world they're not going out into any debt because they had time to live home with their parents so that they could put themselves together you know what i mean put themselves together you and put themselves together to be in a better financial position opposed to leaving high school or leaving college not fully established not you know not having everything together and this is not me saying you're gonna have everything together but this simple means this is just simple me saying give people grace give people time to get themselves together and stop assuming because i live home with my mom or i live home with my dad or i live with my aunt that i'm a freeloader that i don't have any responsibility maybe i'm living home when I say me, because everyone knows I live by myself, I live with my husband, but maybe the individual that is living home with the parent 
is genuinely staying home to make sure that everything is okay to assist with the bills it's not that they can't afford to live on their own but financially speaking as it relates to maybe the parent or the the the, whatever the family dynamic is that person know their fam family dynamic so stop assuming that people that live home with their parents oh they have no ambition or they can't i bet a lot of y'all wish y'all lived with your mama now during this whole pandemic and everything i bet y'all wish you could still go home to split them bills right so stop assuming that people that live with their parents are freeloaders you don't know if they're planning they're working together to accomplish a goal you don't know you're not into people's life so stop inserting yourself and trying to belittle people and that's the thing you know we all be like oh going on our own it's the the, the thing to do you know it's oh we all should get out of the house and by a certain age and you know and parents that be pushing their kids out of the house y'all need to stop doing stuff like that you know what i mean give your child time to put themselves together and get everything together so that once they're out they're out you know what i mean they're not out and thinking about coming back in because you know what they weren't prepared for what's really out there but i really want us to stop assuming that people that live home they're freeloaders because I know people that live home with their parents and they're not freeloaders they're some of the most responsible people I've ever come across they're handling business making sure the family is right you know what I mean stop stop doing stuff like that stop assuming stop just mind your business for want of a better word just mind your business you know and stop doing stuff like that stop assuming and stop inserting yourself in people's family life that you don't know nothing about and talking crap about people you know what I mean trying to make yourself feel better because you're living on your own and you you, you know I'm handling it and in truth and in fact some of y'all bills overdue some of y'all bills overdue overdraft accounts overdraft and all of that but yet you're living on your own but y'all want to put up this facade that you know what i'm doing it on my own no you're not no you're not some of y'all not i'm not saying everybody and this is not me trying to dump on anybody now this is just me saying stop belittling people stop making people feel like they're you know they're doing something wrong by staying home some of you don't understand it may be a cultural thing too because some families they're they don't leave the home until the child is married the child don't leave the home until the child is married and uh, certain things is in place so y'all need to stop it and mind your business and stop try to assume that everybody that lives home with their parents they're freeloaders because they're probably in a better position than you are, but you're out here minding their business. You out here minding their business, and they're in a better financial position because they were able to stay home and set themselves up. Opposed to you flying the coop, leaving the nest early, and running into all these bills that outside. Because once you're out there, you know, it's the real world. Once you're out in the real world and you see all them bills, some of y'all wish, and some of y'all just bad mind, for want of a better word. Some of y'all wish you was in a position where you could be home, you know what I mean? And live in life like them. That's why it's such a problem. So I can all, I think we could, it's safe to say that we can all agree to stop treating people that live home with their parents as though they're freeloaders because you don't know people's business and in the same breath the time you take to be minding somebody's business you should be minding yours that's all i'm gonna say about that from mascara i'm using this um cover girl mascara here and i went ahead and i put a, added a little bit more concealer under my eye yes yeah, so while i move on to my next thing that i think we all can agree to stop doing and I know y'all saw this one coming. Well, at least some people saw this one coming. Can we stop asking women of childbearing age why they don't have kids or when they're going to have kids? I feel like 
it's very disrespectful you need to mind your business you don't know what that person is going through you know what i mean not everybody <laughs> can we just say that not everybody wants children why do you assume uh, you you automatically assume that because a woman is of childbearing age is that she wants children you don't know if she don't want children you don't know if her partner wants children you don't know if they agreed that they don't want children you don't agree know if she can't have children you ever thought about that and you asking that how offensive it can be you know what i mean or maybe she's just not ready give her time to get her life together give her time because you know that the, the the asking people when you're gonna have a children what when you're gonna have a child when you're gonna have a child when you're gonna have a child give it a break if you want a child to play with you want a child to because here's the thing i don't know how she or a woman having a child is how it directly affects you so why are you asking i don't know how whether or not a woman has a child how does it directly affect you as the individual asking is this your child are you going to be um supporting that child you know what i mean are you gonna support that child because here's the thing a lot of y'all love to ask people when you're gonna have a child when you're gonna have a child but if that child ever want a bottle of feeding y'all know where to be found because you know yourselves some of y'all are godparents and y'all never don't even know where your godchildren are but yet still you're out here hustling somebody asking them oh when you're gonna have a child when you're gonna have a child when you're gonna have a child stop doing that you don't know what you're doing to somebody you don't know if that person has had several miscarriages you know what i mean but they've just not say it, said it to anybody you don't know you don't know if that person had a traumatic experience you know lost the baby you don't know you never know so stop asking people stop inserting yourself into people's private life i don't know why are we so comfortable doing these things we are way too comfortable as humans putting ourselves into other people's business way way too comfortable like who are you who are you sir who are you ma'am mind your business you know what i mean and that goes for family too i'm not just talking john public because john public have first of all john public have when i say john public i'm, I'm talking just the regular mass for those of you who don't understand what i'm saying don't have no business asking nobody nothing but families you don't know everything you know what i mean and me talking i, I don't want y'all to think i'm talking about myself i'm just talking generally speaking okay because nobody can ask me nothing if i don't want them to ask me nobody because i'm the first one to put you in your biz in your place i will put you in your place and everybody knows that i don't play when it comes on to my privacy when it comes on to my privacy or anything relating to me my husband or marriage no you don't have a right to be in that okay so i'm not talking about me i'm just talking generally speaking you know we we, we got way too comfortable as a society in searching ourselves into people's business we need to back out a little you know what go concentrate on our own find our own business to be in you know why we have so much free time to be in everybody's business because we're not doing nothing and we're leaving our business over here to to be minding somebody else's business so step back stop asking women and the next part about this whole asking a woman when she's gonna have a child and all of that is this once she do have a child then the next question is oh when are you gonna have a sibling for your child you know one child don't can't you can't just have one child like what who are you who are you stop it you know we, we just need to stop we should all agree to stop doing these things and then after the person have say the person go ahead to have a ne another child say that person have another child then oh she have two children now you can either stop now or you could stop now what if i want to have five more you see what i'm saying you see where i'm going with this stop inserting yourself into people's private lives i'm just kindly asking i'm asking for a friend okay the next thing that we could i think we could all agree is to stop acting as though oh, 
in our 20s we had it all together like why are we doing this why are we setting up the younger generation like that because you know how people make it seems as though in your 20s you should know everything and it's you should have it all together and your life should be a certain way in your 20s and all of that stop acting the fool stop acting like we all didn't mess up we all didn't not know what we're doing because guess what so a lot of us parents and a lot of you parents we didn't put ourselves in the position we weren't in no position when we were in our 20s we didn't know if we were going we didn't know if we we're coming but yet still we know all of this but because of the hypocrites we are we're acting as though we had it all together like your 20s you should be saving x amount of money you should should be planning for your future i'm not saying that no it can't be done but it can be done if you the older generation put in place things for the new generation to have it all together in their 20s so in their 20s give people grace i didn't have it all together yes there were a lot of things that i was doing productive things that i was doing and that was only on to me having people in my life my mom people my dad put in putting things in place for me so that you know everything wasn't grand and dandy i still went through a lot in my 20s my 20s weren't no walk in the park i made one of the biggest decisions in my 20s you know i i left my family to soar out on my own in my 20s yeah but i could only do that because there were certain things in place for me to be able to do that but we we as adults we act as though our 20s or our young people in their 20s they should have it all together they should have it all figured out and like how are they gonna have it all figured out have you ever asked yourself how are they supposed to have it all figured out if we didn't have it figured out and we still don't know how we made it through our 20s only by the grace of god why a lot of us survived or survived our 20s so with that in mind i just want us to these few things to stop doing it stop being hypocrites that's that, that's the main thing stop being hypocrites be mindful of other people's feelings be mindful of our actions you know what i mean that's one of the biggest things we're not mindful of our actions and we're not mindful of other people's feelings and this is something that we should always try to do anyways guys this is the end of the look um the hair is just my hair uh am i might the only one who don't like first day hair but this is first year first day hair for me and um yeah it will get bigger as i go along but this is the look hope you like it got all glammed up to go nowhere i think this high look this eye look was so cute i got it um my eyelashes lifting but that's okay i'm not going anywhere but i got this look i don't know if you, you're getting the full effect of it see i'm trying to be a youtuber a beauty guru by you know me but i hope you're able to see it but this look was inspired by um a picture i saw on instagram you know i have the let's go through the look i'm done this is the end of it let's go through the look this look was definitely inspired i know it's not out there because i'm not into the out there makeup anymore i'm more into soft glam because i'm older and i'm not saying because you're older um you can't wear a lot of makeup because i still will do but i've always been a more soft glam kind of person i've always been a nude lip kind of person i've always been a more you know but i will use color because i do love color but it's kind of like a cut crease it, I have the pink up here and for the let me show you the let me show you the palette I use I use the um was this it no it's not the palette I use oh sorry yeah this is the palette I use I use the Mirage palette it's a color story um palette and I went in with passion fruit this kind of like I don't even know what color it is hopefully you're able to see yeah so let me hold it back here I went in with passion fruit and I went in with Maui every time I use this palette I seem to go in with those colors but if you look at my eye let me try to turn the brightness down 
if you look you could see I have a little color here then a negative space here and then I used it for the wing and I ran it onto my waterline but I'm hoping you were able to see the look because now I turned the light down I realized you know maybe I should have turned the light down a little but yeah this is the look I hope you guys like it I think it's cute thank you for stopping by i hope your day is as wonderful as you are and please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe check out my other videos